Black Mamba. I picked the most dangerous ones in the world. Black Mambas, Taipans, Cobras, Crates, Coral Snakes, Rattlesnakes. I take it out and I basically let it bite my arm. Two bites. Nice. And the reason I do that is for shock value to bring awareness for snake bite. I wasn't looking to be a YouTube star or anything like that. Or you know, It's all about the science for me, 100%. And when I was doing it, I sat back after about a year and just realized that people died from snake bite and I wasn't dying. So at that point, I decided I have to reach out to every scientist on the planet. So Tim basically created a procedure that allowed broad recognition of, the, of many, many different toxins. And that recognition allowed him to be protected from snake bites. And what we're hoping to do is take that same protection, but not have to have everyone undergo 18 years of immunization and snake bites ultimately, but instead isolate and identify the best antibodies, or we can combine with small molecules to create antivenom from Tim's amazing blood. I basically, I, I became the horse. Like I took the horse out of the picture and that's how they make antivenom in horses. So I used myself and I had no antivenom. I worked with no doctors. I just had so much confidence in what I was doing to where I didn't want to back up. And if I failed and I died, then I died. I mean, it was that simple. Um, you know, it, it became a lifestyle, actually. It shows what the human immune system can do. Uh, we have antibodies yeah, yeah. produced in a human that might save other humans moving forwards in terms of a universal antivenom. It's, it's nice to be part of something that changes medical history, herpetology, immunology, and science.